Chopper, fucking Illinois. Well, you guys asked for her, you got her. She's in this video, just like the last one. We got some great response from that, which was awesome. Okay? So, there you go. we figured we'll do another video. We're going to do the same exact way that we did it the last time. So you guys should, uh, you guys should like this one. First off, I just want to start off by saying thank you all for all the views that we got on the last video. Believe it or not, that is the fastest video we've had in views ever on this channel, especially on my stuff. I mean, one week we're at 24,000 views on the video. That's amazing. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you so much for that. That was badass. Um, comments were phenomenal, too. I mean, we had a couple people, as always, you know, which is something that just... Lots of great support. Yeah, it goes to the territory, though, you know. Kind of, uh, kind of lacking the keyboard commandos, which was good. You know, but how can you complain? You got a woman in a video kicking ass, man. You can't really complain about it. Um, you know, a couple people did make some comments about, oh, there's, you know, there's no way that she'd be able to go and apply this, you know, right out of the school on the street. Well, yeah, no fucking shit, asshole. I mean, let's be realistic here, okay? First time we're ever doing that technique. It's the first time she's ever going to be doing this technique, too. Yeah, you're not going to be able to walk out of any fucking school. I don't give a fuck who you are and be able to apply this 100% effective the second that you walk out the door. There is some training that goes with all of this stuff. You just can't do it. And here's my example. And you know who the fuck you are, Jagoff, the one that made that comment? The first time you got behind the wheel of a car, did you jump on the expressway going 180 miles an hour, merging in rush hour traffic? No, you fucking didn't, dickhead. It took some time for you to have the balls to be able to do something like that. It just doesn't happen overnight. So shut the fuck up with your stupid ass comment, all right, dude? Seriously. I'm already a month and a half though way ahead of where I was before. At least I have that much more that I can do when I'm out in that situation. Exactly. So, it is what it is. You don't like it, dude? and you know who the fuck I'm talking to, you don't like it, dude, fucking sign off. Don't watch my shit. Don't watch my videos, dude. Watch somebody else's crap. I don't really fucking care. Don't watch my stuff. You're obviously watching it for a reason, okay? Because you can't find shit that is better than this. Period. You can't. I don't know anybody that's doing YouTube videos on martial arts that are doing it the way how we're doing it. No one is. They're all sticking to the traditional shit. They're all sticking to what they were taught. Nobody's thinking outside of the box. Nobody's coming up with stuff that's explosive, dynamic, and practical, too, on top of it. This is a educational and entertainment learning platform. That's what this is. Speaking of that, everyone that signed up for my online class, because I watched my video on uh, last Monday, which was June 13th, thank you all for the support. Thank you for signing up and being members. Consider yourself all students of mine. You know, I went balls out on those videos to try to do the best that I could with giving you guys a breakdown of all the basic skills. Not all of them, but the majority of them. There'll be more that will be added up later, and there'll be more scenario-based techniques that you get to practice as, uh, as months go on. Thank you very, very much for the support. We greatly appreciate it. So, with that being said, we have Chris Looper here with us today, who is going to be Dana's stunt dummy. So, the technique that we're doing for the title of the video, Hijijime, which basically, or Hijishime, which basically means elbow lock. So it's this application, okay? This will break your shit really quick. If this is applied for real, I'm not talking half-assed like that. If this is applied where you're grabbing the wrist, making sure that the thumb is rotated this way, this is stretching out the arm, taking up all the slack. Once you have that application, your forearm goes right above the elbow on the tricep. As you apply this, you squeeze this in, you grab on your wrist, and what you do is you basically straighten your spine. You push down as you pull up. Not pull up this way, but pull up onto his elbow, and you apply that. This done for real will snap his elbow very quickly. Very quickly. He won't be swinging a bat, he won't be doing anything. He won't be able to do anything in his arm. That arm breaks, boom. That's how fast that applies. So from actually, from the technique, just to show you what we're going to be showing with her is, let's go from a defensive posture really quick. My hands are up. Hey man, I don't want any trouble. He comes and goes to grab the wrist, right? This is common, believe it or not. This is common because this would be followed up with a punch. Obviously, you're not going to stand there and take the shot to the face. So the second that happens, you're going to move 
Grab his wrist and move at this point. Once he comes around, it kind of falls into the Nikyo application that what we applied on the last video. You're going to apply this technique. From there, you're going to roll this over, grab his fingers. You want to avoid being punched. Grab onto his hand, twist his wrist, strike to the face, move right in, get that elbow lock. Once you have that locked up, you can either step and throw forward or you can dump him and throw him behind and then get back into a fighting platform ready to go. Hopefully you break his arm, which he's going to do is now he's injured. We talked about that in the last video. He's going to be injured. He's going to want nothing to do with this and you can take off, do what you got to do. You know, get the fuck out of Dodge, whatever. So Dana's going to come and do this video right now with this technique. She's going to have her hands up in a defensive posture. Chris is going to go to grab whichever hand is closer or whatever he's strong hand was striking with. The second this happens, she has to react immediately, otherwise she gets hit. So she moves through with this, okay? We talked about this and you want to get this to the point where you have it this way. Then you straighten him out. Now roll it over, grab onto his fingers. Make sure you have that locked so now this is going across his body because you want to avoid being punched. Now from there, grab his, grab his wrist, strike him in the face, boom, punch, pull, okay. Keep this in tight, punch and pull back. Now up and over, get on the elbow lock, apply it, dump him. And then turn, get in your fighting stance. Good, try that again, one more time. So right from there, get the lock, roll it, grab the fingers, strike. Good, dump him. Okay, one thing, one more time. What I don't want you to do is what you just did before you dumped him. Don't do that again. Do it and I'll show you what you did wrong. Move through. Once you have that locked up, get the wrist, strike, lock up. Don't take a step with that. You stay in this position. From there, all you do is throw him behind you. Lock and throw. Not bad. One more time. Apply it. Good. Get the fingers. Strike. Lock up. Dump. Good. Nice. Okay, the next one. So, we're going to go from, let's just say, from the choke, right? This is common for women now. If you're, being, if you're a woman and you're being aggressively attacked by somebody, they're trying to kill you, whatever, they might even be trying to rape you, who knows? This would work if you were up against the wall as well. We're not going to do this against the wall, but this will work. When you're attacking, make sure that you're grabbing the neck, you're applying duress. If it's just sitting there, see, I can still talk. He should be applying this a little bit harder. I can't talk. There you go. As that happens, right, common, you know, common thing that's going to happen is he starts applying. People start doing this shit because they start panicking because this is cutting off your air supply. As this happens, you can do a couple different things. Start apply. You can go right for his eyes. Immediately, eye gouge. Push this through. Once you have that through at that point, you can strike to his temple, whatever. Strike to, you know, collarbone, jaw. Move right into this lock right away. Once you have that, same thing. Remember, Dan, come here. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have the elbow or the thumb pointed down. So as you apply that, okay? Now um, come back around over this way. Then from here, you're going to take this step and you're going to launch him forward as you throw. Okay? So one more time. So Chris is going to come in and he grabs. Now, I'm under duress. From there, I can eye gouge, move right through. This can't be a one step, two step, three step thing. You have to do it pretty much all at once. So once this happens, you can't break the grip. Go for the eye gouge. The hand that's going to grab the wrist has to come down. You can't grab the wrist on top. So as you break this elbow to where you get the arm to move, you immediately grab that. Okay? If you needed to, you can elbow in the back of the head. Or you can just move straight in for this lock. Once you have this lock, you don't want to turn, you want to just go forward with this and dump it. Okay? Try it. Do you want the eye gouge too or just the... If you want, it's an option. So right there, if you can't do it, eye gouge, right in, get that, good, lock it up, nice and tight, lock it, apply it, and then just take a step and shift. Good. Don't worry so much about doing this, so when you throw him, when you have this lock, don't worry about doing so much of this with your arms. 
You don't need to make it that dramatic. Once you move through here, you have this lock, this movement. You don't have to like bring your arms up. It's not going to generate any more power. You're getting the power off of your body movement. So again, so apply, pull, pull, pull. Again, get pushed right through, grab, nice, and throw. Nice. Nice. One more time. Now we're going to add something to this once you get through. Go ahead. We're going to add something else. So as you're coming through, I got boom, right there. Okay, now right from here, put that foot a little bit more forward. Okay, you're in this position, you're straight. What I want you to do now from here, push out his leg that's right behind yours. Push it out. Now from there, turn your body and throw him. So you're breaking his balance a little bit faster. If you have somebody that's heavier, that you can't get their balance right away, that's one way of doing it. Okay, so I'll show it to you real quick. So from here, right? Yeah, I got you. You move through with this, you get this. If he's big and strong and you can't, you're having a hard time applying this, take out his leg. Okay, come back. From here, sweep that out. Then roll. Okay? Try that again. So I got you. Move through, step in, sweep out the leg. Hold. Good. Good. Very good. It's nice. Okay. Want to do it one more time or you want to go on to the next one? Whatever you want. One more time. One, one more time. time. This time with you mean it. Move through, get the arm lock, sweep them. Good. Nice. See now if you kept that applied and you got that sweep, okay, this is hard to do because this is a dangerous technique. Once you have, remember, when you're applying this technique, you're actually cranking on this. Okay, where he's burning a fucking hole in his pants. Like he said it's smoke signals. That's how fucking that's how much pain he's in. You start applying this, okay? Sounds like you know SOS, you know, Morris code right on his chest. Right? Morris code right on his chest. That shit works right away, you okay? So as you do that, this, this leg sweep happens right away. Then the throw. Okay, so when you're doing this, you gotta convince me, you gotta convince 84,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel that that is working. That man will not tap if it's not working. Okay. Don't break his shit though. So right from there, good. Now throw. Nice. You alright? Okay, last one. This one is basically, you're gonna, now the grab, now remember, he's coming in for this grab. If he grabs you, you're in trouble. Okay, so you have to, obviously, you know, there's a distance balance and timing that you really have to take into consideration. You don't know when someone's just gonna walk up and be like, you know, unless it's, let's say it's an estranged boyfriend, you got a problem with your boyfriend or whatever, and you're in an argument, and he's abusive, he comes up to grab you, you know that it's coming. You know, you would know by, if you've been with the guy for a while, what's his demeanor and stuff like that, you're gonna know it's, it's go time. So you have to think of it this way. So when somebody's coming at you that way, one hand up, one hand down. Okay? So the hand that comes down is gonna cut this, roll over, capture the elbow. Okay? The hand that goes down is coming up and down, up and down. But this one's hooking, this one's grabbing onto the wrist. Okay? Then from there, you want to turn. So as you turn, you pull this. Then you can go right for the hammer fist right away. Then you can apply the lock, just like in the other, other applications. Then from there, you can crush his knee if you needed to. Mm -hmm. Then you can put him in a choke, whatever. If you crush his knee, he can't really move at that point. Now, you just break his shit, and you're going to make him cry like a little bitch. Okay, once he's down, he can't move, that's when the crying starts. Okay, so that's one option that you can do. So, down and up, you got to hook this. If you want to add some dirty tactics, go right for his eye. Start applying that right to his eye. You can go right underneath the fork of his nose. Apply that as well. So you apply this. This is actually hooked. Remember, if you don't have this tight, he pulls that in. Now you've got problems. Now you have to move to something else. Okay. okay? But once you have this hooked, you have this secured. You're going to pull this into you, and you're going to turn and move right to, right to the opposite hand. So as you're turning, from here, you're going to turn, and you're going to capture with the left hand, and then this fist is going to come right into his face. So you're going to hammer fist him right away. Then you're going to move into that lock, 
You want to try this slowly, you can move into where you crush the knee at that point, or, stand back up please, or you step in, and then you're going to turn your body this way. You're not going to intentionally leg sweep him like you did on the last one. You're just going to pivot. As you pivot, your body is going to turn, which is going to create a speed bump here where that he's going to have to go over. So as this happens, he rolls over that, and then you're back up into a fighting position. Okay? Try it nice and easy. Good. Comes through, grabs. Hammer fist. So you can step and crush. Once you crush, this is where the break happens. Okay, good. Can't go any further from that. Then you just break his arm. At a story. Try it again. Okay. Lock through. And from there, now you're going to throw towards the fan over that way. So you're just going to, you're just going to pivot your body. Exactly. That was perfect. That was perfect. Do it again. Up and over. Lock. Boom. Nice. That was really good. That was really good. One more time. Lock him up. Pull. Voila. How's your arm feeling? Your arm? You can do one more. And do one more. Let's get it. Boom. Nice. Throw. Fantastic. That was awesome. That was awesome. So, that's it. I mean, that was pretty quick. I mean, you learned three techniques within however long this video got shot. I mean, obviously, we're not going to bullshit you. We told her what we were going to do. We showed her beforehand what we were going to do, okay? Obviously, this is a learning video. But this is the first time she's ever done any of these three techniques, okay? And just so you guys know, I'm not bullshitting you. Nick, turn the camera around. Danielle, step out. That's Andy and Danielle. Have you guys ever seen this technique? Have you guys ever practiced this technique? Not so, right now. So you guys are witnesses that this is the first time she's ever done this. Yes. Thank you. There you go. There you have it. I tell it how it is, man. We don't bullshit people around here, dude. This is the way how it goes. So that's pretty much for this video. This is uh, Combative Concepts, Hiji Shime. Hiji means elbow, Shime means strangulation. You might also hear it be called Hiji Jime which is there's a different application to that. Um, if you sign up for the online classes, whether it's Attention Aikido or the Combative Concepts, you can see the variations of these techniques. If you want to see more stuff like this, sign up for the online classes. Go to RoadWarriorsTraining.com, click on Sly's Online Training. It'll take you right to a separate page for the online classes. Sign up. What do you got to lose? Man, this stuff is pretty fucking affordable, man. It's like, I have a lot of people that are already interested in this. A lot of people that have already signed up. And I've gotten a ton of messages from people saying how great the format is. I break everything down. I have not seen one thing of online classes. And believe it or not, I've researched it where guys are actually breaking down the techniques and showing you the basic fundamentals of what's involved in this technique. Like, for example, this technique here, you're going to see that arm lock. You're going to see a whole video on that. You're going to see the footwork. You're going to see the leg sweep. You're going to see the dirty tactics. All that stuff is individual videos. And then when you do a video like this on the technique itself, then you get to see how it's all put together. When people sit there and say, oh, that's an advanced technique. No, it's not a fucking advanced technique. Okay? The only reason why people think it's advanced technique is because somebody told them that it was an advanced technique. These are all basic fundamental skills that she did with this. The leg sweep, that's a basic fundamental skill. That arm bar, that hijishime, that's a basic fundamental skill. You don't have to be a black belt in fucking Aikido or any stuff in martial art to be able to do that. First time ever doing it. Chris, did it work? Chris, you don't even see this. He's rubbing his elbow right now. Did that technique work? Fuck yeah, it did. You don't need to be 10 years involved in any system to learn something like this. You don't. Anybody can learn it. She's learning it. Women learn this stuff fantastically, just like I said in the last video. They pick this stuff up quickly. Living proof, again, for a second video, how fast she picks this stuff up. So, like I said, you guys want to learn more? RoadWarriorTraining.com, Sly's Online Classes, or you can Google Sly's Combatives, and it'll take you right to the home page of that as well. And you can sign up for classes. I'll have the link uh, for both Sly's Combatives and RoadWarriorsTraining.com in the uh, description in the box below this video. So, 
Sign up. Check it out. You got anything to add to this? Well, the other thing I want to add is what you guys are going to be doing at home is exactly what I'm going to be doing. You have the classes. You're going to go home. You're going to practice. I'm obviously not perfect at this the first try. I'm going to get there and practice the way you guys can. I came in on April 23rd staring at this guy like it was the first time watching Star Wars as a kid. You can do it too. So sign up for the classes, and I'll tell you what. Everybody, I got something, all right? Do the same. Okay. For the next week. Every new person that signs up. The online classes. The online classes. Is this for both or one? Or does it matter? It doesn't matter. Okay. I'll tell you what, you sign up for the online classes and I will personally autograph a pair of booty shorts and ship them to you. So one week, sign up. For free? For free. Gift to you. We'll sign something, sign the booty shorts, send them out to you. We'll have a link shorts. on the Facebook page for you guys to email. Which Facebook page? Combative Concepts. Page. Okay. So it's worth it. He said it's worth it. It's all worth it for everybody. It's good for your self-esteem. It's good for you. It's good for women. It's good for men. Just sign up and do it. Get your free gift. Do it now. So, there you go. There you have it. RoadWarriorTraining.com. The Road Warrior Training Compound on Facebook. Combative Concepts on Facebook. And follow us on Instagram. Road Warrior Training Compound. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.